Well, hello, my fellow gamers. It's Katie, and welcome back to another island tour. If you're new here, hi, I am Creative Katie, aka Katie, and welcome to my channel. We are back on another incredible island created by Andrew. I am super excited. I have been see seeing him tease this island with some of the most remarkable pictures of his island for the past several weeks. He's finally released his DA and we are now getting the opportunity to come and see his brand new island, Dahlia. I believe it's Dahlia is how it's pronounced. Uh, so I am ecstatic. Uh, what he said was kind of the theme of this island was a white cottage themed uh, island. So I am ecstatic. Knowing him, we are going to be blown away by the amazing builds that Andrew does for Animal Crossing. Uh, from what I've seen as well with these pictures and everything, this is going to be kind of a natural slash overgrown feel island. And I am super, super excited and I cannot wait to explore. But let's check out the map here real quick. So that way you guys get an idea. So there at the bottom guy is his uh, DA address if you'd like to check it out this island yourself. You are more than happy to do that. I will also have Andrew's uh, Instagram information linked as well in the description of this video below. And if you guys would like for me to come and tour your island, there's a link for you to submit your island. I would absolutely love to come and tour. But check out this map, you guys. This is absolutely incredible. I know this map is not going to do any justice for what we're about to see. We are going to be blown away, guys. I am so excited. <laughs> so we have one resident, which is Andrew himself. And then as far as villagers go, we have Chrissy, Bo, Maddie, Maggie, Graham, Sasha, Bunny, Bo. Bay, <laughs> Ursula, and Sherb. Oh my goodness, such amazing villager lineup. They are absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to see how they're incorporated. Also, guys, before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. That way you can be alerted when new content is added, which I definitely do every single week. You can be alerted and check it out for yourself. Starting us out look at this flag guys oh my goodness look at this this is so precious now andrew i don't remember do you make your own codes or not i cannot recall if you do in any way so let me know if you do i would love to uh lo love to see what other codes you have but this is absolutely beautiful very simple design and i believe that's what makes it so stunning and speaking of stunning, you guys, this entrance right here. First of all, Chrissy came and said hello. <laughs> but look at this. This adorable, adorable little duck pond right here. This is just adorable. Of course, I always get pictures whenever I am closing my eyes. <laughs> but this is absolutely stunning of an entrance. I love how everything is just laid out. I love how natural everything feels. Uh, he's using the natural codes or the in-game codes right here for the pathway and then using additional codes on top of that to show like the crack in the, the road and the flyers laying down there. Just remarkable. And look at the little duckies. Oh, it's a mama duck and her babies. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, hang on. Is there a path? There is a path, guys. Oh my goodness. Now, if you really need some inspiration in building buildings, <laughs> Andrew is the person to come check out because he does a remarkable job 
of creating these makeshift buildings in the game. And of course, whee! I didn't want to do them in the front. It took a lot of uh, restraint, but <laughs> oh my goodness, look mm -hmm. at this. This is just stunning. I can understand why Sasha would want to hang out here. Just this amazing overgrown area right here. Hang on a second. Let me see something. Oh, I thought for a second that his island map and mine were the same, but they are not. So the difference that his island has in mine, my peninsula is actually above the river mouth. So it's just a little bit higher up there. But for the most part, it seems pretty similar. Maybe the rocks are a little bit different. But yes, oh my goodness, this is just, just phenomenal. And it looks like the rain has stopped and gonna turn into a gorgeous day here on the island. Okay, speaking of builds, this is incredible. Look at this, you guys. This building is just stunning. Using the storefronts, using um, the little storage shed. This is just remarkable. Absolutely remarkable of a build. That, that looks like a house. It really does look like a house. It is adorable. Adorable. Oh my goodness. It just keeps going. Oh, and here's Nux. I love that he left it as the first stage. This is awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. This is incredible. Just absolutely incredible. The simple stream back there that opens up into a large river mouth. That's awesome. Oh, I see another path right here, you guys. And it leads down to this little sitting area. It's like a little reading nook. I love it. Oh, this is just super precious. Oh my goodness. Like, how can you not love this right here? Like I said, Andrew is a pro when it comes to decorating islands. I don't know how he does it. I am always blown away by what he does. Nice little sitting area right here. And is this a villager home? Looks like it. Okay, I don't know if any of the villager homes are decorated. I believe they are. So let's see. Oh, Sasha's home. He's not home. <sighs> Sasha. But I believe Andrew does decorate his villager homes. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, let me see if I... And there's a river canal right there. Oh, this is just incredible. Okay, so it looks like this villager is home. So let's check them out. This is Boo's home. 
This is fantastic. I absolutely love this. This is incredible. And of course, Bo Le being a lazy villager, this just fits perfectly. The boxes, the mess, the sloppiness, oh my goodness. Fits perfectly. Okay, so continuing on here, let's see what else this island has in store for us. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't know how Andrew comes up with half of the ideas that he has, but they are all so incredible. And the way that everything just flows naturally from one section to the next it's just remarkable like look at this look at this this is amazing like you really feel like you have a little water area and there you're walking out onto a dock this is just incredible and another little dock right here I mean, come on. I always jokingly tell Andrew that I'm going to sign up for him to come and decorate my island because this is just fantastic. I love that there's wheat fields everywhere. Oh my goodness. So if you guys are doing a natural themed island, Andrew is somebody that you should be paying attention to because he takes it to a whole new level. Whole new level. And if you're interested in overgrown, here you go, guys. Just phenomenal. Oh, it's a little fishing dock. I love that he's got the fishing poles out here. Oh, there's even a fish. Get him! Get him! Reel him in! <laughs> oh, I never saw this one before. Look at the pattern in the uh, sand here. Oh, that is awesome. I'll admit. With my current theme being Skycore, I don't have to decorate the beaches, which I don't know about any of you. It's a little bit of a struggle for me. I struggle with my beaches a lot. I always want to make them look natural. I always want to make them look inhabited, like you can go out and enjoy them. It, it's a struggle. It really is. And Andrew just makes it look fabulous just fabulous hey Andrew if you uh, need somebody to take some of these wheat fields off your hands at some point let me know <laughs> already I know that Andrew is working on his next island which is absolutely incredible I have seen a few pictures so far he is doing his first ever um, fall theme I can't wait to see how that turns out. I really, really can't. And I can't wait to see more, more pictures. He's really good at teasing us. He is. Just be like, hey, this is what I'm working on. And the locations that he takes pictures of just really make you want to go visit. It just keeps going on. Oh my goodness, your island, I swear, is a lot bigger than mine. Because look at this. I love how overgrown everything is. 
how natural it all feels. I swear, his island is totally bigger than mine. Totally. Okay, so we're gonna head back this direction and start exploring the inner parts of the island. to go right down here okay I just need to look out for these little wood plank codes which are adorable by the way and just have to look for those for the hidden paths because you never know when one's gonna pop up okay the side area right there the side patio is super cute hi bae Oh my goodness, you guys. This is absolutely incredible. It's so natural. So natural looking. I don't think we can get up there. Maybe this one? Nope. That's okay. Oh my goodness. So we got some villager homes tucked in here. Okay. This is fantastic. I have seen this one other time where it's a, a valley going into like a little neighborhood. I have seen this in one other build. Not one that I've toured, unfortunately, but one that I took inspiration from. I can't remember who actually did the build, but they did something very similar to this, and I love it. Love the idea, love the concept of it. I love the idea of doing backwards uh, steps like this. This is just remarkable. Oh, look at this, a little pumpkin patch. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little pathway this way. We will come back. I promise. We will come back. Because I want to check out this bridge. Look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. I... I'm blown away. I don't know about the rest of you, but I am simply blown away by this this is incredible oh my gosh we just did a big loop here is nook's cranny oh my goodness i didn't even notice that there was this spot back here i didn't even notice that there was that hidden pathway Oh my gosh, you really have to keep your eye out on this island, or you might miss something. Something as important as that little area tucked in there. <gasps> it's Sharp's home! Oh, this is gorgeous! This is stunning! Holy cow! I sure, but I think you uh, have a leak. Oh! It's a gyroid! Oh my gosh! I did not see him there! I thought there was actually like a pipe leaking! <laughs> oh my gosh! But look at this. Look at the coating on the wall there. And that big, huge window. I am super jealous. Because that is just stunning. But this is remarkable. 
Andrew. I don't know how you do it, man. I don't know how you do it. Either way, fantastic. Is that another villager not home? How dare they? And this little sitting area right here leads to the beach. Oh my goodness. There are so many cruiser bikes here. It's fantastic. Ooh, we got two villagers home. Alright, let's check it out. This is fabulous. This is so cozy. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love the patterns. I just love the tone that's set for the entire, entire house. Fantastic. You know... I need to stop uh, forcing my villager homes to be kind of like studio apartments. I need to just decorate them based upon what I want to showcase. And I usually try to do like a bed, a kitchen, and a living room area. Sometimes just something this simple is all you need because... This is fabulous. Everything's spaced amazingly. Everything is laid out fantastically. It's just remarkable. Just remarkable. Oh, I can't reach that way. Hang on. Can I go this way? <gasps> no, I can't. What? What? Oh no, I'm stuck. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> that was a little bit of a struggle. A little embarrassed by that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does it keep going? Oh, it does. Nice little sitting area right here. What does this lead back to? Oh, it's a shortcut to this home. So if you didn't want to go down to the resident home, you could skip across over here. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay. But we missed this house, so we need to go investigate. This is Ursula's home. Oh, this is stunning. And super adorable. I absolutely love this. Just love this. And I love the play of the windows in the back there. That is remarkable. And the use of the lights. I'm, I'm blown away. Andrew, I don't know how you do it. I really don't. I don't know where you come up with these ideas. I don't know how you do these builds. Do you plan these out? Do you have a vision in your head? Do you just kind of go with the flow? I'm curious. I really want to know what your process is. So please share it with us. It's been it's fantastic. Here is the resident home. Look at that, you guys. Just stunning. Leads over to a nice little sitting area and the beach. Here is the gazebo. Or not gazebo, pergola. 
Right? Pergola, yeah. Pergola, awning, one of the two. <laughs> Okay, we're checking out the resident home. And guys, this is a reminder. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water out there and staying healthy. What? Uh, what? All right, I'm curious, hang on. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is fantastic. I have never thought to do anything like this. This is phenomenal. If you don't want to have a big, huge house, make the entry into a hallway. <gasps> Stop. Stop. I give up. I give up. This is fantastic. I know we can't access anything, but this is amazing. This is stunning. Andrew, I don't know how you do it. my goodness. I I can't get over this this hallway. I really can't. It is just it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. It is such a great idea. It is such a great it's, oh my gosh. I love it. I might have to do that sometime. If I don't want to have a huge house or use the entrance, <gasps> look at this kitchen. Oh, this is cute. I absolutely love this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just love it. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. Phenomenal. And this hallway. This, the wallpaper, just, I know, we keep coming back to it. I am just blown away by this. I really, really am, you guys. I I can't get over this. This is fantastic. This is so creative and out of the box. I know it's very simple, but it looks remarkable. It really, really does. And I love it. Oh, my goodness. And here is the bedroom. Oh my, this is beautiful. Like, I totally want to uh, stay here. All right, Andrew, I'm moving in. Moving in. Look at this bathroom. Oh my goodness. And this laundry room. I don't know how you do this, man. I don't. But this is absolutely stunning. Like, the way that every item is placed is so perfectly placed to just make the room feel complete. Individually by itself, these are, items are remarkable. But put them together and set up, set them up in a way can take a room to the next, next level. And that is what we are seeing right here in this house. 
this is what we're seeing on this island. Like, that is how fantastic this is. Andrew, you have a fan for life. For your islands, for your builds, everything. Because of what you do is just beyond anything that I have seen, anything that I have experienced, anything that I've ever built myself. Oh no, she's not home. This is fantastic. I'll admit, when it comes to my builds and it comes to what I do on my island, I am very picky. I like things to seem natural. I like things to flow in a way that makes sense to a point where the visitor truly enjoys their experience on my island. And it takes a lot to blow me away, but Andrew manages to do this every single time that I come and visit his islands. He just, he does. I have yet to be disappointed by any of Andrew's. Uh, islands. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. I absolutely love this. I love that there is a pet bed right there. That is fantastic. I'm trying not to go around the back to destroy the the wonderful illusion there, but oh my goodness. Andrew, we are not playing the same game. There's, there's no way. There's no way. And what's even more remarkable about this whole thing is I know in the Animal Crossing community, mods are aka spicy builds have become a huge thing and it's amazing what you can do with a vanilla build and Andrew does fantastic job as a vanilla builder and I love it because there's still some of us that aren't interested in doing spicy content and I'm one of them not to say that I'm against it. I mean, you guys do you. You play the way that you want to play. Um, more power to you. But would I love to have a spicy content? Yeah. But at the same time, I don't think the work, the risk is worth it. Um, I would want to share this all with you. I would be concerned that I would be reported. Because there are those that feel that spicy content is wrong and they are entitled to that just as you as you are entitled to play the way that you want to play um i'm neither for it or against it i would just love to try it because of the fact that i love what people are creating out there um but will i ever do it probably not because of the fact that i don't i don't want to run the risk so that's my two cents on spicy and vanilla. Uh, oh my gosh, Andrew. I don't know how you do this. Like everything is so perfectly laid down. Oh my gosh. There is a tractor back there. <gasps> I love it. I love this little orchard. I want to get over there. I want to see the tractor. Yes! And it's green. Love it. Absolutely love it. My husband would be super happy. Because it's a green tractor. <laughs> oh, and here's the campsite, you guys. Look at this. all ready for someone to come and visit this fantastic island. Uh, Andrew, if you don't get anybody in the next couple days, I'll come visit. Oh, oh guys, you have to check this out. Okay, first of all, this pear field is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. 
Oh my gosh, there's Blather's tent. <gasps> first, first, look at this. Second, Blather's tent right here. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. This leads right out to the beach. Again, beautifully decorated. Absolutely love it. Oh, hello! Oh, it's a little crab! Look at this little, little design here! That is fantastic. I should really use the uh, the rabbits on my island. I keep meaning to, but I just I always find other things to use on my island. But okay, so this is what I really wanted to show you guys. I saw a picture of this. Look at this soccer field. Look at this. This is awesome. Andrew posted this on his Instagram account. And I just love it. Absolutely love it. An overgrown soccer field. This is just perfect. Or football, if you are not in the US. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna cross the bridge. Oh, look at that up there. Oh, that is awesome. Talk about utilizing space. Andrew definitely does that. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. You get an amazing view. Okay, so we're gonna go down the beach first. I guess not. <laughs> I guess we're going back this way. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, this is residential services. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize we made that kind of loop, but look at this, you guys. So just to give you an idea and in perspective, if we went to the left a little bit and down, we would run into um, that cute little pond and entrance and the airport. So, just to kind of give you an idea of where we're at. Okay, so we're gonna go back up this way. I think, nope, that just did a whole loop, okay. Instead, we are going to come and check this out. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. This is just stunning. I, I snuck a quick thumbnail in. <laughs> Couldn't resist. I could have, but... That just seemed too perfect at a moment. Nice little picnic area. I see a diagonal bridge, guys. Guys, guys, there's a diagonal, diagonal bridge. We'll come back, I promise. We're gonna explore the beach first. Oh, I love these little rocks, they're so cute. I wish that I had these types of rocks on my island. Like, I love this little uh, enclosure, like this little area right here. I think that is super cute. Whenever an island has that. I don't know why. I can't explain why, but I just always think that it's cute. Ooh, we got a volleyball court. Look at this, you guys. And a puppy. And a puppy. Hello, puppy. Hi, buddy. No, it was in. I promise it was in. Oh, we got a villager home. Oh, no. They're not home. Maddie! Okay, let me see this. Oh my goodness. Look at how 
Humongous this build is! Oh, this is incredible! Look at that. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Again, Andrew, your your island is so much bigger than mine. No, scratch that. We aren't playing the same game anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is just remarkable. Okay, back this way. Back to the beginning. No clue what I was singing. Ooh, jump across! Yeah! Okay, so we're gonna check out this pathway first. Oh, so here's residential services, guys, just to kind of show you what that all looks like. And here is Abel Sisters right here. Gosh, I love that. Love that build so much. And then eventually we come to this entrance. Maybe. There we go. Here is the entrance to the island, you guys. So, oh, I think this is the way I need to go. This is the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that rooftop sitting area. It keeps going up. Oh my goodness, look at this. That is fantastic. Such a fantastic build. Down through here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love how each of these places is accessible that we can navigate down to these areas to see, get a better to get a better view of these buildings that were created it's just remarkable absolutely stunning Oh, and there's the airport right there. We'll sneak back up over here. Let's see. There we go. There's the the bridge. And this leads us right down next to the beach there. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm just gonna check the map real quick. Make sure that we did not miss anything. I think we did. I think we totally did. So... Let's see here. So I need to go back up to residential services. Because we did not see the big lake yet. So we need to go check that out. I know I feel like I'm kind of going backwards right now. But I just want to kind of keep it to the path. Yep. Okay. So what we've missed so far. Is back in here. Which has 
is it this? Okay, so that leads to the soccer field. It was that close to residential services. Oh my goodness. We got this adorable little sitting area right here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Stunning. And <gasps> look back behind us, guys. overwhelmed by this. Oh my goodness. That is stunning. I'm speechless right now, you guys. Totally speeches. This is so calm and soothing. It's remarkable. Like, I'm at peace right now. I am feeling so peaceful because of this scene right here. Andrew, you are phenomenal with your creations absolutely phenomenal i don't want to leave this spot i really don't i'm fighting everything in my body to just stay <laughs> have we seen this house before yes we have seen this house before i did not realize that that wrapped around because here is nooks right here you guys i think that might be everything on the island. Oh my goodness. I have officially been blown away by this. It is 100% official that I have been blown away by this island. This is absolutely remarkable. Andrew, thank you so much for allowing me to come and tour this island. I do not have the words to describe how beautiful, how breathtaking your island was. This was truly an honor to come and check this out. Guys, watching at home, what was your favorite part of this island? I would love to read about it in the comments below. There were so many breathtaking and amazing views but this right here, this is my favorite part of this whole entire island. I love how the distance and the depth is used. I love just the openness of the water. I love how everything is just decorated. It's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. This is stunning right here. So Andrew, again, thank you so much for allowing me to come and check out your island those of you watching at home thank you so much for coming on that journey if you want to come or if you want me to come and tour your island there's a link in the description below for you to request a tour from me i would absolutely love to check out your guys's islands make sure that you are also liking and subscribing to my channel so you can be alerted when I add new content, which I do every single week, guys. But again, Andrew, thank you so much. Those of you at home, thank you for coming along on this tour with me. It means so much to me. Wherever you guys are in this amazing world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep on being inspirational. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.